Hi, so in this short video we will give a motivation and mostly an anti-motivation for replacing the WSL2 kernel that's the Windows subsystem for Linux kernel uh, we will be using a very specific branch which is the sort of the latest and greatest one uh, we can see that when we go and look at like the branches then they are relatively old but that's what's being maintained which means that if you want to use for example a 6.2 kernel you're going to have to do the patches yourselves so don't expect too much uh, I'm saying this because I made like a shower clone from this repository and this should prove that it is just good enough for that so let's just have a quick look at that that's the make file we see this is the latest branch okay and this is actually what I have on my machine so I'll make very small changes so that we'll be able to see that when we do a small modification which we'll do it actually works and we'll see how to actually configure WSL with a configuration file uh, .wsl configure in your home directory, in your profile directory, in your user profile directory to be uh, more accurate so that you can modify your own kernel okay now why you would want to even modify your own kernel to learn to change some things to practice uh, kernel modifications without like another uh, machine for some research purposes and so on so let's first start with what is the anti-motivation for actually doing that so if I have now a couple of WSL machines uh, both for docker and I have like an Ubuntu machine and like a Debian machine and if I go ahead and I'll start like the main one that I have on one terminal and I'll start the other one on another terminal I will be able to see. Let's do on the DVN the message, okay? And let's here on the Ubuntu go ahead and do hello there to dev k okay, message on the Ubuntu. If I look at like the message, I see the kernel log here, but I also see it on the Debian. All right, so it's pretty obvious that we're actually using the same kernel and the mechanism behind it is having a kernel that is run by the Microsoft hypervisor and then using namespaces. So if you run Docker, then Docker also runs like, it actually has like a couple of instances in different namespaces and no matter what you do on your different Dockers or in your different WSL too, it's going to be the same kernel which makes it very, very, very easy to find some security problems, uh, but it's not so rational to use Docker on production on Windows, uh, although I'm sure that there are people who do that. So I'm not, I don't think I'll have like more words on this discussion. All right, so I'm going to go and quickly show what I downloaded. Uh, so it would be under demo. WSL, WSL like this, and I just did like a shallow clone of this branch, okay? So it's what I showed like in the branch comparison earlier. We don't even need like to look at the readme. We, it's pretty obvious that if we have like, if we look at like arc, x86 configs, you also have it like for ARM. Then you have this guy, config WSL. Okay. And I already built it. I mean, I did like make from this directory uh, O equals out Linux WSL. I created the directory, co copied this configuration into dot config, although we can also use the environment variable kconfig config equals and that file right arc x86 configs config wsl and after building it well i got a kernel so i already did it and also made some modifications which are these ones so let's have a quick look um going to out linux wsl and i'll do the diff config here all right this is like the source and this is what i have now i didn't do much 
I just added like the Android binder file system just for fun. And uh, obviously the GCC versions and compilers, they change, but that's okay. I mean, this was something that Microsoft made. They pretty much made it like their own Microsoft Linux GCC. And I just have whatever I want like actually on this very WSL distro. And yeah, so these are like the changes. So what we should see after booting is that on the uname we'll have this guy, okay? And let's see what is currently running on this machine. So on this machine we have the old one, Microsoft Standard WSL2, okay? And just for fun, we'll add some other modification, which is like quite trivial. Let's go. So we'll do this, okay? It will build very, very fast, so we can be happy about it. So I'm going to do the build again. I mean, I already built most of it. This is why we get almost immediately to the linking of the kernel. And after doing so, of course, WSL is a little bit slower than what you'd expect like on native Linux, especially with all kind of file system things, although WSL2 is by far better than the other one. So at the end of it, we'll have like in a regular kernel and uh, the output under arc and uh, the architecture boot. So here's going to be a busy image and I'm just going to copy it over to my WSL when it's done. So at the meantime, I'll quit the other machine because I would want to shut it off. And it will be done soon enough. Okay, it's done. All right. So now I'm going to take the output. I'm going to go to out Linux WSL, and I'm going to copy the image into the file my kernel. Okay. Now, in order for me to boot it, I need under and this is a mount c it refers to my uh, to my c drive okay so users run is my user profile so in order to actually do that uh, what we need to do in order to update we need to create a dot wsl config file that has definitely not this one that has a wsl2 section and their kernel equals c Careful, you need to double slash them. If you just do this, it will not work, okay? You need to double slash it. So users run and I was not following my own advice and here my kernel. And now it will work. I'll exit my this machine. I'll do WSL dash the shutdown. I'll open another WSL and if we do like the message then we see our new change the PSG says Linux version yada 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 we can see the proof that we're running like under Microsoft Hyper-V and we'll no longer see like the other kernel boots, right? But if we start like the Debian one, we'll see the same things. Like um, it boots quite fast because it, the main machine already booted. And here it says like the same thing on Debian, all right? So this is one thing. There are all kind of like other tricks and things that we can achieve. Uh, if you install like some graphical applications, you can go ahead and and work with them because uh, there is a Watson client like for moving Wayland graphics into the host, and there is also a Pulse Audio server on the host, like on the Windows host. So you can see like both of them 
like the indication for them here and as long as like your display variable is properly set for example if I go back like to the account that I have then and see this guy then you can go ahead and run like all kind of like applications a lot of time we'll have font issues which may be annoying but it's not the end of the world okay so having said that and uh, this is how you build a kernel this is how you replace it a little of the things that WSL gives you and I, this was short and concise enough and you can just do it yourself I mean build time if your computer is decent enough could take like five six minutes for like for the build it could take less it could take more and I hope it was useful